Well, a big change today in the race for Indiana governor. State Superintendent Glenda Ritz announced she's canceling her campaign. She told us it was a difficult decision, but she also says she's confident it's the right call to stay focused on education. I am announcing my candidacy for the Democratic nomination for governor of Indiana. After two months in the race, it's just not the right time. State Superintendent Glenda Ritz called off her campaign for Indiana governor. Running for any kind of office other than the one I'm in and the one I'm doing with my work uh, requires more of my time. And I have to give 110% to what I'm doing right now. Ritz announced her decision late Friday afternoon to drop out of the governor's race and instead run for re-election in the job she has now. In a conversation with Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk, Ritz explained why. She says two specific developments that affect education in Indiana gave her political goals pause. An increase in childhood poverty, and then it would also be um, fewer uh, applicants into the teaching field. Uh, two huge issues that I just feel I, I need to be addressing. Ritz did have trouble raising money. Her campaign war chest was just over $100,000 compared to well over a million for Democratic rival John Gregg. That's the candidate she's now endorsing for a change in leadership. We absolutely must make that happen, and I'm um, dedicated to working with him. Recently, Ritz was also accused of violating campaign finance laws, but she says money was not a factor in the decision. No, it's, it doesn't really have anything to do with the campaign aspect. It has to do with my dedication to what I'm doing right here at the, at the state level for uh, kids and families. Engaged in education. It's work she started that Glenda Ritz says she needs to finish. And John Gregg tonight said Glenda Ritz has always put the best interests of school children first and that this decision is just another example of that. He also said he will support her reelection as superintendent and wants to work with her if elected governor.